Jelly Bean Story Page The Grinning Ghosts and the Dancing Ghouls In the small town of Willow Hollow, there was a legend that every Halloween night, the Grinning Ghost and his group of dancing ghouls would appear in the old, overgrown cemetery. Kids whispered about it in school, and some even claimed to have seen their glowing figures darting between the tombstones. But no one had ever stayed long enough to know what they were really up to. That was, until one chilly Halloween night when a group of friends, Emily, Max, Zoe, and Oliver, decided to uncover the truth. Armed with flashlights, candy, and a whole lot of curiosity, the four friends snuck out of their homes after their trick-or-treating adventures. They made their way through the thick fog that always seemed to blanket the cemetery on Halloween. The full moon lit their path, and as they neared the rusty gates of the cemetery, they heard it, faint music in the distance. Do you hear that? Max whispered, his eyes wide with excitement. It sounds like... Laughter? Zoe added, her voice trembling slightly. Oliver, who always tried to act brave, shook his head. It's probably just the wind. But Emily, the boldest of the group, pushed open the creaky gate, and they all stepped inside. The mist swirled around their ankles as they walked deeper into the graveyard, following the strange sounds. Suddenly, in the clearing near the oldest tree in the cemetery, they saw it. A tall figure with a wide, toothy grin floated above the ground. His translucent body shimmered in the moonlight, and next to him, a group of ghouls twirled and spun in an otherworldly dance. The ghouls weren't scary at all, in fact, they were giggling and moving with such grace that it looked like they were having the time of their lives. The friends crouched behind a gravestone, peeking out to watch the spectacle. The grinning ghost, who wore a top hat and bow tie, clapped his hands in time with the music that seemed to come from nowhere. Are they... having a party? Emily asked, stunned. Just then, the grinning ghost stopped clapping and looked directly at them. His eyes twinkled, and he floated closer. The kids froze in place, unsure of what to do. Well, 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 the ghost said, his voice warm and playful. It seems we have some curious visitors. The ghouls paused their dancing and looked over, their smiles just as wide and friendly as the ghosts. Don't be afraid, the grinning ghost said, tipping his hat. We only come out on Halloween to have a bit of fun. You see, we spend the rest of the year sleeping in this boring old cemetery. But tonight, we get to dance, laugh, and celebrate. The friends exchanged surprise glances. This wasn't at all what they had expected. There were no spooky scares or ghostly pranks, just a fun, joyful celebration. Zoe, always the first to join in on a good time, stood up. Can we join you? The ghost grin grew even wider. Of course. We love new friends. Come on, everyone, join the party. And with that, the kids found themselves pulled into the magical dance. The ghoul spun them around, teaching them the ancient moves of their ghostly dance. They twirled under the stars, the cemetery filled with laughter and music, the moon shining brightly overhead. For what felt like hours, the kids danced with the grinning ghosts and the ghouls. Time seemed to stand still as they laughed, spun, and even learned some silly ghost jokes, which were mostly about flying through walls and disappearing at the worst times. Finally, as the first rays of dawn began to peek over the horizon, the grinning ghost clapped his hands again, signaling the end of the party. Thank you for joining us, he said bowing deeply. But now, we must return to our rest until next Halloween. The ghouls waved goodbye, their smiles fading as they began to disappear one by one. Will we see you again next year? Emily asked. The ghost chuckled. Only if you're brave enough to come back. But remember, we're always here, waiting for another dance. With a final wink and a tip of his hat, the grinning ghost faded away, leaving the cemetery quiet once more. As the kids made their way back home, they couldn't stop talking about their incredible adventure. Halloween had always been their favorite holiday, but now it had an extra special meaning. And every year after that, they would sneak back to the cemetery, not to be scared, but to dance under the stars with their new ghostly friends. 4-0